Hello, everybody. This is Max with A1 Website Pro, and today we're going to be talking about going from Gmail to Evolution. Now, if you're like me, you love Gmail, you know, uh, and I have all my contacts. So basically, we're going to be talking about switching your, uh, you know, your email and your contacts from Gmail to the Evolution program. Now, uh, so for the first step, what you're going to have to do is make sure that Evolution is installed on your Ubuntu Linux system, okay? So if it is installed, you could go to your finder and start typing in evolution and you it'll look the icon will look like that but if it's not installed then you are going to have to get it installed so we'll uh, fire up our terminal here and I'm going to give you some commands to install evolution and so let's get this started right away and this is the, the first command sudo apt add app repository ppa gmail 3 team blah 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 and I, if you click the link in the description I will have these codes for you so you can copy and paste all right push enter and then then it's of course a sudo apt hyphen git update okay and then the next command will be um, don't worry about these packages not found this is something else that's going on I'll have to fix later sudo apt git install evolution yes okay now finally we'll just close that out we'll go to our terminal window and we'll type in ev evo for evolution and we can see that it's here so let's go ahead and fire up the evolution and as you can see this acts as an email program uh, where you can bring in your emails, you have your contacts, a calendar, uh, your tasks, and memos. And this is basically replaces, if you're on a Microsoft uh, Windows, it replaces Outlook. If you're on a Mac, then it'll replace the email program there. Okay, so this is, this is for Linux, so you can have it right on your computer. Now, if you don't like it, um, I've also, in, uh, if you've installed it in your Linux and you want to remove it, I also have the codes on the site to remove this particular program. Okay, and the next thing that you would want to do is you want to install, there's an RSS reader in uh, Evolution. And the good thing about this is you can access all your favorite blogs like A1 Website Pro and have a go, go right to your RSS activity. Okay, now in order to do that, let's fire up our terminal again. And in the terminal, get it down here into the screen where you can see it, we just type in sudo apt git install evolution evolution hyphen ss. Just like that. And password for your machine. So, um, do this right here. Put evolution space evolution RSS. Okay, and you can see that it's already this version. All right. Now, what we're ready to do now is we can fire up our evolution uh, email client. So let's type evo, and there's our evolution. Now your icon may look a little bit different because I have my computer set to a Mac setting. Okay. But here you go, and uh, you can see here, I already have uh, two email accounts. Here's my uh, Gmail account for uh, uh, that I have synced with this, and you know, if I open that up, you can see that I have all those emails in there. And then I have a POP3 email account that I have set up here, okay? Now, the one thing that uh, I will tell you is that, uh, when you're getting ready to add a, a Gmail account, you want to use gmail.com. Now, let me show you what I mean. If we go new, and we'll say we want a new mail account. And the mail account we're going to be setting up is this one right here. It's called Maximus Up Close. I have it set up for uh, our other businesses and my sons. And we're going to take all these emails and folders, okay, and also the calendar that's on this. So if you look at the calendar, we will go ahead and put a uh, an event in here, just so I can show you. 
is working. Okay, so let's put an event here for 9 a.m. Test event. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and save that. Right? And we'll say not now for the notifications. Now what we want to do is right here, let me start over. Here, go hit new, mail account, and we're going to hit next here. And a full name, we'll just say, uh, say Harley color just so you can see that it's different from the other ones. and the uh, the email address is maximus up close at gmail.com and reply to max at a1 website pro.com actually you know what I'm not even gonna worry about that one so we're just gonna hit next and here's the uh, account information Maximus up close name Harley McCullough now notice uh, this uh, imap.googlemail.com and smtp.googlemail.com those need to read Gmail okay so let's go ahead and go back here um, let's go back a couple steps we'll hit next again and right here where it says server, instead of imap.googlemail.com, we want to put Gmail there. Okay. And this server type imap. Now remember, you have to turn on the imap setting in your Gmail before this will work. So let's go to our setting. There's a, it's a really crazy button. I can't see it because of the theme on this. But uh, you have to click your little cog and go to settings. Okay, and then here where it says IMAP access, you need to enable IMAP. Okay, and then hit save changes. Now, the other thing that you have to do is you have to go to your Google account and enable less secure apps. So, because this is a desktop application, so what we want to do is go to our Google account. And under security here, we want to scroll down to where it says less secure apps. You see how it says off? We need to turn that on. Turn on access. All right, there we go. Now we could go back to our evolution and continue to fill this out. And most of this stuff is going to be filled out for you. But uh, let me go ahead and click on the next. Okay, so you could re check for new email messages every 60 minutes. You could change that to what you want. I'm going to leave it on 60. doesn't matter. Check for new messages in all folders. Check for new messages in subscribe folders. Uh, use quick resync if the server supports it. And listen sir, for uh, server change notifications. You can leave all them on. And number of concurrent connections to use, three, because we're adding multiple email addresses. A folder show only subscribe folders and then we'll leave that off. Apply filters to new messages and all filters. Check new messages for junk content and synchronize remote mail locally in all folders. That means if you delete it locally, it's gonna be deleted on the server. If you leave it on the server, it's going if you leave it on this uh, email application, it'll be left on the server, okay? That's the way IMAP works. That's why it's a little bit better than POP. All right, let's click, click next. And here, uh, once again, um, for the SMT, you want to put Gmail in that little, uh, the server address. You can leave the port 465, okay? And then we're just going to click next one more time. And make sure that we have our server at imap.gmail.com. And sending is uh, smtp.gmail.com and security is TLS and now notice this add Google Calendar to this account it says you may need to enable IMAP access which we already did okay so let's go ahead and click next congratulations your mail uh, configuration is complete now notice that it hasn't asked us for a password yet all right but it will we'll click apply here now notice here here's where a password comes in right let me go ahead and enter the password for this particular Gmail account. And then I'm going to click OK. Now there you go. Notice it's 
uh, ready to go. I have, you know, there's my inboxes. And how does that compare if I look online? That critical security alert. Let's see if I got that in my inbox. And let's scroll to the Z-Ball too, Joey. Okay, critical security alert. Okay, now these are in ascending order. Okay, not descending. Descending means you would have the newest on top. Ascending order means the newest is on the bottom, and that's the way it is. Now, if you want to see the pictures and everything, you'll see this little button, load remote content, and there you go. All right. Now, how about that calendar that I, that I was telling you guys about? Let's click on the calendar, and there is the test event that we did online earlier. Right? Okay. So, there you go. That's how you sync your calendar. Here, let me close that out calendar and add your gmail multiple gmails to your evolution email client and it's uh it's pretty cool because like uh, maximus up close i have the different holiday uh, uh the calendar folders contacts holidays in the united states yeah. and then i could just get rid of these other ones um, yeah. all right but uh, what it's just doing is displaying my uh, calendar from Maximus McCullough 29 and Maximus up close. So that's the other thing that you need to keep in mind, like this practice, practice, and hues and stuff like that. This is all being brought into the same calendar. All right. So if you didn't want that, then just don't uh, sync your calendar. But this is a pretty cool program, and this is how you navigate it down here. Uh, close it up. Now, the other thing that I was uh, talking you, to you guys about is your RSS reader, right? So if we go up to edit and we go to plugins, come down, notice this evolution RSS because we installed that. Look at this, the configuration. See? HTML reader, WebKit. Use the same font as other applications. Now I enlarged mine a little bit because I like my RSS to be a little bit light, uh, uh, larger. So we'll click OK, uh, close here, and let's get to that news and blogs right here. That's where it's at. And we'll go down to A1 Website Pro. There we go. Okay, so when you want to add a news or a blog, you know, in this section right here, what you'll do is you go up here to edit, down to preferences, and then scroll down to where it says news and blogs. And then you might want to add a blog like A1 Website Pro. So we'll just put A1 Website Pro's feed in there. That's HTTPS colon slash slash A1 Website Pro dot com slash feed. Just like that. You can use the advanced options whenever it's going to update. We're just going to leave everything to. Um, default you don't need an author authentication for this particular feed so I'm gonna click OK and there it is RSS 2.0 we fire up evolution again start it here we see that there we go we have a website pros feed in there so that's how you do it and it's pretty simple it's a great program to use you can see that uh, it also has tasks that you could do and then you can uh, create memos. And it'll remind you. So it's basically just diving in and, and seeing what it has to offer. But hopefully this uh, tutorial got you through the right steps to get it installed and set up. And be able to sync multiple Gmail accounts. And uh, that was the whole purpose of it. And with a little bit of extras. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. This is Max with A1 Site Pro. Please like, share, and subscribe.